It's time for another coming home. I'm just really excited, guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm here again for another clothing haul. As you can tell from the title, I broke Z Bank. I literally broke Z Bank. Okay? I spent £500, over £500 actually, on Topshop. And I've never bought so much from them. I do love some bits from them, like I love their jeans and they have some cute bits that I have, you know, and they, you know, they have good quality clothing. But sometimes I'm on the website and I'm just like, really? This costs how much? So today we're going to be trying out all the stuff that I got. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the quality of the clothes, how they're going to suit my body. Anyways, let's jump straight into it, shall we? Before I jump onto the video, we're going to have to do our post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Rookie93. So thank you so much for your sweet comment in my last food series video. Thank you for watching the video, guys. And I know it's so random, but I just want to do something a bit different on my channel. And... I do love food, so yeah, be sure to expect them, maybe hopefully eat once a week at least. I've literally got my massive top shop bag, this is humongous, like it's almost a half the size of me. Oh my god, I can't wait to try, I can't wait to try. So this was one of the outfits that I was really excited to try, so we might as well do it first, you know, why not? Please do mind this little one right here, she's just joining the video. But anyways, I really do like this outfit, like, it looks nice. What? I just can't believe I actually fit in a size 10 without it being super tight. The only thing I don't like about this outfit is that it makes these little, like, armpit flaps, you know? I don't like that. But I do love the style of it, it's very nice quality, very summery. I mean, is it really summer? Is it really summer? This one is definitely a thumbs up for me. Like, the quality is amazing. I love, like, the button detail. Like, it's super summery. And me and my sister, we actually saw a lady wear a dress that had, like, buttons like this on her dress. And it looks so nice. And it's kind of, like, the same vibe. I really like this outfit. Okay, let's go on to the next one before I start feeling myself. Okay, okay. The next one is another co-ord that I that really caught my eye. It's super simple, but we'll see if it's nice and worth the money. By the way, this outfit, the top was 24 and the um the skirt was 29 pounds. Um oh and by the way, the skirt is 12, and I don't think I would have been able to fit in a 10, but the top the top is a 10. Um I think like on my bottom area it go it's a size 12 still, but my top is just smaller. I think I did that with all the outfits. Actually, no, I still have some 10 bottoms as well. It is a bit, for me, it's a bit more on a higher price range, but it's very good quality. Like, it's thick, but not the type of thick that makes you sweat. Like, it's a nice summery outfit, you know? So, yeah, I give that one a pass. Thumbs up for me. Okay, so this outfit is definitely giving me, like, Kim Kardashian vibes. So, the top was 22 and the skirt was 29. And I both I got both in a size 10. So, they do have this ribbed material. Like, the skirt as well is the same. I do have to say, I think I like the top better than the skirt. I don't know if the skirt's, like, for me. I don't know. It's really, really tight. Damn, my squats be working. It's getting more perky, guys. <laughs> but anyways, I need to lose this. This is what I need to get rid of. I definitely am getting like Kim Kardashian vibes out of this kind of outfit. Um, the material feels really nice, um, but I do prefer the top to the skirt. I don't know. I don't see myself wearing this. Guys, it's kind of see-through in a bag. That is unacceptable. So definitely a no for me. If I'm going to be tw paying 29 I think this was 29 To be honest, it's just a ribbed material, so I don't see why it's 29 £29 now. Come on now. Come on now, Topshop. Now. You can literally see everything. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I just don't know, I don't, I'm not feeling this one, I'm not feeling this one. And this is some type of brown shit on it, like, what the hell? I thought it was my makeup, but it's not. What is that? It's, like, hard. Look at this. Look at that. What is that? So this is the next outfit. It's a bit more casual. These are Joni Denim cycling shorts. They were £29. It's almost the price of like a full length one. Why do they make why do they just make it a bit cheaper at least? 
I mean, I do love Joni jeans. They're very tight fitting. They're very light. They show like every single curve. And then the Adidas top was 25. I mean, that's understandable for 25 or like an Adidas top. It's kind of cute. When I look at this outfit, it's really me, you know? Like, I really like this outfit. I got the jeans in size 10 and they fit me. I mean, they're a bit tight here around my waist. And then the top again, size 10. I definitely love this one. It's definitely like more of a sporty, chilled vibe and that's just so me. Like I'm always in trainers. If you see me, I'm always gonna be in trainers most of the time. This girl right here is Emo Wire. Sky! So bumpy. So cute. Look, look so comfy. Look at that little paw right there. Look at that. Look at that little paw. Oh, she's not looking at What's this? What's this guy? What's this guy? <laughs> I definitely, definitely like this one. What do you guys think? Very sporty. There's no camel toe either. It's all straight. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Oh my god, like, what is this? What is this? I look like a robot. I'm not gonna even show you the back, guys. It's so short. I feel like my butt's gonna go up for show. No form ever. I look like a square. I mean, it's a pretty dress, like, with all the sweet quins and stuff, but, like, honestly, the fit is so awful. Like, what the hell? Guys, let me laugh a bit. Let me laugh. It looks so nice on the model. The dress is £65. Are we having a laugh here? No, obviously, because I can't hear nothing. £65? Are you actually joking? Like, honestly. This is a size 10. I mean, I feel comfortable in it, but... I just think it's really short. It did look really short on the model, to be honest, but... Like, if I bend... Mm -mm. Definitely zero. Nada. Nada for that one. Okay, guys, so this is the next outfit, and I have to say, I am really digging it. Like, this screams Onushka. I do have a few things to say. I think I love the trousers. Like, the trousers are perfect to me. Like, they fit so nice. They are that, like, thick material. They have um, pockets as well, which is super handy. Nice for Instagram what am I doing I'm breaking my back I love 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 the trousers but the top the top have the have these studded bits and it's literally stuck on it like with those necklace tie up things there's a black thing under here that is pulling up which I don't like the whole style of the top is really cute though I really like it but it's just like it's giving me those armpit flubbers which I have unfortunately I think I could go up a size on this. I mean, it does fit well, but I feel I feel comfortable. Like, I can move it as much as I want, but I feel like because of this, I could go with a size 12. They're both a size 10, by the way. But this is the outfit. Definitely a thumbs up on this one. I really, really like this one. I would definitely, definitely recommend the trousers. They're just so, so nice. I love them. I'm really happy with these. What the bloody hell was that? I saw some weird ass people in my area, okay? The trousers were £36. Lord Jesus Christ, it's £36. To be honest, for the material, the fit, the style, the colour, £36. I'm okay with that. Um, but the top, £20. I'm sorry, I don't think that's 20 I don't think that's worth £20. If I'm out, this would break. I honestly feel like that, so... Definitely a thumbs up for the trousers, then. Oh my god, guys, literally... It's been like 15 minutes. I've been trying to ask my boyfriend, ask my brother to do it, man. That was a struggle. So I got this top. Literally, it's so tight that it's like squishing my boobs. I have no boobs. Whew, can't breathe in it either. I think I'm in that awkward sizing stage because obviously I've lost some weight. I used to be a full on 12 and every everything used to fit me. I can't breathe in this. It's like a waist trainer. But now, because I've lost some weight, I'm not really a size 10, but maybe in some clothing items, but I'm not a size 12 because it's too baggy. So I'm like in between. So the top was 15. To be honest, I really like the top. Like it's a denim kind of bralette and it's so cute and it zip, zips up in the back. 
And that's what we struggled with. I've got to ruin it. And then the trousers, guys, I have to show you the trousers. The trousers were 22. And I think this is probably one of my favorite things. Like, it's so nice and fitting. I can just put my trainers with this. Like, it's so nice. This outfit screams me. I mean, the top is definitely tight, but it's motivating me to work out. Every time I look at my body and I know how I want it to be in my mind, like, it just motivates me to work out. But to be honest, I struggle with the eating. The eating is my issue. Like, what's the point? I always say this. What's the point of living if you can't eat what you want? But I've managed to kind of find a way to balance it. But I'll make, I'll make a kind of why I eat and, like, workout loss kind of video. But anyways, back onto the clothing. I went on a tangent there. But I definitely love the trousers. £22. Definitely worth it. It's a nice, thick material, but it's not too thick. And yeah, I love this so much. It's so pretty. It's just, it's not, it's just like the simplest thing, but it just works. And it kind of works with this top as well, but it's way too tight. It's way too tight and it's squishing my boobs. I can't breathe in it. So long. And it's affordable. I'm probably going to exchange this for my size because, yeah, size 10 is not for me <laughs> on this one. Okay, so this is the next outfit. This is kind of like a velvet, crushed velvet dress. It's actually really pretty. I like this one. It's very fitting. I think the booby bits are a bit too baggy. Like, I think this is for someone who has big boobs because it's literally there's so much fabric there. I'm part of the itty bitty titty comedy, okay? There's not much going on here. This is how it looks like in the back. It's just a really simple kind of fitted crushed velvet dress. What do you guys think? This is a keeper. This is nice for an event. Okay, so this dress was £25. I got it in a size 10. I mean, it's a nice material and it's a nice fit. So yeah, £25 is okay. On to the next one. Alright, so this is the next outfit. It's definitely really pretty. Like, it's a very pretty dress. Not too short. I do have to say that there's one thing that really annoyed me because obviously I wanted to post this video earlier and you would think someone that spends £500, over £500 to be more specific, someone that spends that amount of money on their website, you would think they would give you free next day delivery or something like that, but no. It took like almost 3-4 days to come and I'm just like, they didn't even give me the option to even pay for next day delivery. Like, they need to sort it out, like I don't get when, like, when companies like Beauty Bay or... Who else? Boohoo can do, you know, Pretty Little Thing can do next day delivery and sometimes they can do free when you're spending a lot of money and Topshop can't even do that. Hello? But I do have to say this dress is really nice, like it's a nice, very nice quality and material, like silky, not silk, that kind of blouse material and I love how like it tightens up on the sides here. I mean it's not a dress that you can lift your arms up with. I have a little slit on the back. But I kind of really like it. And again, this is a size 10. Let me go check the price. So this dress was £42. Are they being for real right now? £42. £42! Did I buy this for 40 No. I don't think this is worth £42. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I feel like a lot of you guys will like this dress, but it's just... Does it really scream Anushka when you look at this dress? Like, do you ever see me dressed up like this? Let me tell you a story before I go, because I've been wanting to tell you. By the way, so I've been liking to wear nipple covers, right? Because I hate... I freaking hate wearing a bra, especially when it's super hot, right? The other day, I was in the bus with my sister and my sister's boyfriend. We were, like, looking for drinks for, like, a family get-together. And we were on the bus yet, and I was sweating. And I have this thing where I sweat around my boobs. I don't know why the hell my boobies are sweating, but it's just it's just like that. You know, some people have their back that sweat, their belly, their legs, their thighs. But me, it's my boobs and the back of my neck. I know it's so weird. But anyways, I didn't think any of it, anything of it. And I had my nipple covers on. Had a baggy t-shirt. Definitely don't wear nipple covers with something baggy. Make sure there's something to catch it. But yeah, I get up. We get off the stop, I get up before my brother, my um, sister and her boyfriend gets up and I'm like walking and I hear like a flop on the ground and I'm just like what the hell, I look down and I see my damn nipple cover on the floor. 
I started laughing but no one saw it, no one saw it drop, no one saw me but I started laughing because I found it hilarious that my nipple cover was on the floor in that bus and then my sister's boyfriend started like looking on the floor because he heard the flop as well and I was like oh my goodness and then I get off the bus yeah and then I see them two getting off proper laughing their heads off because my sister's like wait a minute I wear this. <laughs> my nipple covers come from Primark but they are good but just Make sure you don't sweat there and also put something tight on so you know they're secured <laughs> but yeah they are really good they stick on really well but it was just that it was a really hot day guys oh yeah look at this they send me an item separately i feel like i'm going to disco and again this is for the big booby committee definitely not for mine like there's so much baggage and this was already undone like the zip was undone so i think someone returned this because if they had small boobies like me this will not fit like why is it like that? Can't they make stuff for like small boobs as well? But anyways, the outfit is really nice. It's very sparkly. I feel like I should go to a disco or something. You know those old fashioned ones. Mamma mia. Um, this is very party. I thought for like an event this would be nice. But you know, it's just not happening. Like this is not. This costs £125. £125 and there's literally sequins all over the floor. What on earth is going on right now? Like 125 and you're gonna have sequins on the floor. Like that is not acceptable. Top shop, top shop. That is just unacceptable. I'm not having it. This is 125. I don't even think it's that nice. Like, would I really wear this? I mean, it looks nice from the back. That's just about it, to be honest. I don't like the front at all. I don't know if it's because it doesn't fit. This is definitely a zero for me. No. No. To make it equal to like 500, it actually went over. I wanted to get something for my sister. Actually, no. I was asking my sister's opinion on some bags. Like, I wanted a bag, but I didn't end up getting a bag. And she was like, oh, there's this bag I really want, but, you know, I can't really get it at the moment and stuff like that. Obviously, she's a student, you know. She only works like four hours a day. Um, and she was like, oh, we want to get it, it's so nice, and she showed it to me, and I was like, damn, that's expensive, and then like, I just bought it on the slide, and I was like, if she does really well in her A-levels, um, which she did, actually, um, she did really well in her A-levels, and she's going to be going to university, so I thought, let me treat her to something, being the good sister I am, I know, I know, I know, but yeah, I got this for her, guys, it's really nice. I thought I was thinking oh, I can like surprise her and like just give it to her because she wasn't she probably won't expect it but it's actually really really nice. This is £27. And what she really liked was the handles. Like the handles have like this weird I don't know if I can show it to you guys. It's like a marbly kind of swell inside. And it's just a mustard bag. And you also have what is this? Damn. I guess they have a little bag inside as well. So bougie. Like the strap as well, so you can hang it on her shoulders. And this is nice and big. She can put some books in here. She can even fit a laptop in there. So I thought, why not get it for her? Very, very sophisticated, guys. Do you want to answer? What are you doing? On the laptop. So you can answer. I even called Eric. <laughs> Why? Because like, are you with my? I was like, are you with my friend? She's like, she's like, no, not yet. But anyways, I'm filming. Say hi to everyone. Oh hi. <laughs> anyways, because you did, I was doing a top shop haul. Yeah. yeah. I got you the bag. I know. I'm very kind. Let the world know I'm the best sister ever. Oh, the orange one? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you thinking? No, I got it. It's here. It's actually really nice. I can't see. Do you like it? Duh. It has a weird bag inside as well. Yeah, I know. You can take it out. Yeah. Just wanted nice. to show the world that you did it's well like in your A level. Huh? It's a I know. I told everyone you got into uni. Yeah, and she's gonna be studying law, guys. Law. Yeah, you are. I'm the <laughs> This is this 
is a new thing having my sister on FaceTime. <laughs> I just woke up. Do you know, I like the bag, you know. Yeah, that's nice. Anyways. You can't, you can't retract your statement. No. Anyways, okay, bye. Adios. Oh, you know, my 246 subscribers. Oh, yeah. I've got 1.1 thousand views. By the way, if you, if you didn't know, my sister has a new YouTube channel. I did share it on my Instagram. She's almost at 300 subscribers already. This girl. It took me three, four months to get to 100, okay? But anyways, say bye. I'm going to go now. Okay, bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, probably it's a long one, to be honest. But if you want more clothing hauls, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. I really enjoyed this. Like, Topshop's good, you know. They have some good stuff, but there were some, like, little things that were pissing me off. Yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!